Am I being detained? Yes, you are. Okay, under what law? Told you I was drunk. Go through this for me. I don't need to keep it down. You've got a little kid in the car. If you want to drive like an idiot, then that's on you. You should be ashamed of yourself as a parent. Don't touch me. Walk over I'm not car. doing shit. He's hurt me. Get in the she seat. attacked me though. Okay, what that's I fine. supposed to do? When kids get their own mothers arrested, every family has different dynamics, and sometimes a family member's actions turn criminal. On today's episode, we're going to examine seven cases of family violence and see what happens when law enforcement officers have to protect children from their own mothers. Attacking her daughter. Our first case takes us to Peoria, Illinois. On September 20th, 2023, officers were dispatched to a family residence after they received a call that a mother had attacked one of her children. The moment the officer arrived at the scene, it was obvious he was walking into an explosive situation. The fighting had spilled outside into the front yard of the home and the suspect immediately got in the officer's face. She was out of control and the officer had to decide how much farther he was going to allow the circus to play out. As expected, the woman denied physically assaulting her daughter. Did he just tell you to go up there? Didn't he just tell you to go up there? We did it with DCL Festival. Didn't we just say go up there? Your ass, your ass trying to hit me! Please go over here Man, don't touch me, cuffs. bro! Then chill out! That's my daughter! Okay. And she ain't finna disrespect me, so she tried to hit me, so I can down. defend my mother self! Down I'm dealing with DCFS with these mother you kids, man! Sit down and relax so I can put you in cuffs and put you in the back of the car if, that's your, if this is what you want to keep doing. So sit down, just sit down. Just sit down. The option is simple. Listen to, listen to these people right here. Hey, take a deep breath. I am taking a deep breath. What is going on? No, the thing is, Talk to me. me and my mama had a little disagreement. Okay. And whatever was about this social security stuff. And whatever, she she the one told me what was going on. My mama tried to use my daughter social security number. Let her finish. Let her finish. Let her finish. Go ahead. And so you need to control her mouth or something. Can y'all can y'all go inside with the kids, please, so I can just talk to her, please. Okay. Kids don't need to be seeing all this. Are you can call DCFS. Close the door for me, please. You can call DCFS. For what? Cause my two kids in there I'm dealing with. With DCFS. Okay, hey, just stop. Eleven. Ten twenty-four. I'm the mom. Can I subscribe? Okay, no. Let me talk to her first. Stop. Okay. Start over. Now, me and my mom, like I said, me and her had a disagreement just not too long ago. And, and whatever and stuff like that and then she got to be like disrespectful and whatever so i'm her mama so i i didn't i didn't attack her she's 19. i didn't attack her did anything get physical what happened huh did anything get physical uh-uh i attack her all right, let me get your information real quick, okay? Mm -hmm. What is your last name? Mm -hmm. Sorry, my pen's going out. There you go. Mm -hmm. Spell your first name. Middle initial? I don't have one. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a sec. So, what's going on? Now, what happened oh, was, like, me and my mama had a, a misunderstanding you and whatever about yes okay. and whatever okay, ignore her talk to me she i didn't attack her like i said she, i'm her mama she not gonna be disrespecting me okay period uh, my mama got guardianship of her but at the end of the day i'm still the mama mm -hmm. at the end of the day okay and so me and my mama had a misunderstanding and uh, uh, about her trying to what's our agreement I'm going to tell you the same okay. thing. Continue. The thing is, like I said, me and my mama had a, a, a misunderstanding. Okay. And whatever about her trying to use my daughter's social security number. Okay. So my daughter already told me, like, what was finna go on. Like, she was finna use my daughter's social security number without telling me. And whatever. So she got, you know, loud and whatever. Then tried to hit me. So that's when I had to, you know, you? defend myself. Yeah. Okay. Are you hurt anywhere? Is no, I'm good. Okay, she hit you and then you defended yourself. Yeah. Okay. 
The officer walked her to her car and told her she's being detained. But that soon turns into an arrest. The violent mother doesn't take it well as she's maintained her innocence. She switched her rage to tears and claimed that she was having a medical episode. EMS was called to the scene to check her out, but that didn't last long and her violent colors came back to the front once again. I'm not gonna put you cuffs or anything. Just it's a hate hey, is no though. I've been here for a year. I can't thank you. I just try to understand like what I got to was, Did anybody it. have any sharp object? No, I want no sharp object. Okay. So have a seat, So I'm going to jail. No, you're detained. Okay. So uh, I'm going to jail or something? Oh, I'll tell you after I read your rights. Okay? But I'll, she you, attacked me. Do you want to talk to me? Do you want me to read your rights? I have the right to remain silent. Okay, you don't want to talk? Okay. What? Well, what? What's going on? You're going to be under arrest on? for domestic battery. Um, I talked to everybody to inside to give me a different story. But I'm telling you what about my story. Well, I, I'm, I'm going to document all your story, your story and her story, okay? And then I went inside and talked to all the people. Uh, and I was told that you saw the first time. I didn't start so, anything. I'm not going to ask you any questions since I didn't read your rights and everything. So I'm going to jail? You're going to jail for domestic battery. Hands behind back. Police. You want that charge too? Man, y'all, she attacked me though. Okay, what that's I fine. supposed to do? Have a seat. So, right now, just you feel like your blood pressure is high? My doctor told me that. So, it's an ongoing problem? Yeah. Okay, do you take medications for it? So, what's wrong with you right now? Oh, my blood pressure is my blood pressure. I don't know if you can't read my hand. I think him running is fine. You think so? Yeah. It's actually worse. Yeah, I was going to say. We're going to get a set of vitals on you real quick, okay? I'm trying to get happy. It's the story. Alright, first the card. Do you have any other medical problems? Taking medications every day? I got this one, Jeff. You got this one? Alright, they're gonna do some uh, checks on this arm. Okay? Here, just stay this way. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna. No. No. Okay. You can watch the camera. Okay. Okay. I got you. Huh? you want to get the stretch over here? Oh my God. Okay, let's sit down. Yeah. Let's just sit down. Sit down in the car. All right. You need to stop. You're fine. Face the car. Just sit down in the car. Stop. You're not falling apart. Sit in the car like you were. Oh my God. You need to take some sit. deep breaths. Deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. You are okay. You're you're breathing. You're talking. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. He's trying to get your blood pressure, but you have to hold that arm still, okay? She was charged with domestic abuse and resisting arrest. Next, you'll meet Letitia. She decided to take her three children on a drunken car ride that nearly ended in disaster. Letitia, on February 11th, 2022, in Wichita, Kansas. Officers responded to the scene of a horrific car crash involving a mother and her three children. The driver, identified as Letitia, was suspected of being drunk and the officers quickly lost patience with her combative attitude. She told the officers she didn't want her children to be examined by EMS. They asked her to perform field sobriety tests to prove whether she was drunk or just crazy. Can you guess how that worked out? Let's see what happened. She's, she's out of it, no way now. Doesn't want okay. anybody messing with her. She said she was fine. Apparently, the kids were in a car seat. Uh, I don't know if she was wearing her seat. Out. 
she's going to be an EMS for okay. Jesus. Okay. I don't know. It just literally, just literally <laughs> happened. So I'm calling you, Ashley. I'm just, I'm just now calling you. I don't know what the <laughs> do. Yeah, there's 16 cops right here. We're just she trying. wants us to talk to a police okay. officer. Do you talk to him? Okay. Yeah, you want her to talk to me? What's your name, man? Letitia. All right, so we do have EMS here. Would you like, would you like the children to be checked out? No. Would you like to be checked out? No. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay. We're fine. Look at us. We just want to make sure. Okay? Like, we're good. I literally live blocks from here. Sure, sure. Letitia. Yes? I just need you to sign this and she don't want us to do anything, okay? Okay, Letitia. I have a legal license. This just says that you don't want us to check you out or do any type of treatment. That's all that is. And do you have ID on you? Yes, I do. Okay. He's fine. I'm not gonna f help me. Please help me. We're trying. Help me. Hey, we're trying. Obviously, <laughs> oh, we're trying to. Please help me. Hey, obviously, we're trying to figure out what's going on, okay? But we just want to make sure everybody's all right. Okay, buddy. I have, I have three kids of my own. Y'all lie though. No, I promise. Your sister's. Y'all lie though. I promise. No, y'all lie. Y'all lie. Ashley's coming. I know. She's on the phone right here. I know your daughter has your phone. Thank you, baby. I just need you to step right over there. I'm not. You can say right here what you need to say to me. You've been drinking. I have. Okay, so I need to run you through a couple of tests. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Just charge me with the, the, a DUI. Okay, so we can sit here and I can have you do this while you sit. Can we do that? I'm not, yes. I'm okay. not, I'm not doing the whole, the whole. I can have you do this. Yes, I have to drink it. Yes, absolutely. Are you right handed? Yes. I'm right handed okay. and so I have it. You can put your hand like this for me. Just keep it like that for me, okay? And just watch me. I'm going to show you a couple of things, okay? So what I need okay. to do is you're going to take your, just watch it how you start. You're going to take your thumb. You're going to touch it to your index finger. I'll, let me show you and I'll show you how they need to start. You're going to do this. You're going to go one, two, three, four. When you get your pinky, you're going to count backwards. Four, uh, three, uh, two, uh, one. That's one pass. Okay, one, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I didn't finish. The DUI test started and no one at the scene had any doubt as to what the outcome would be. What they may not have guessed was that Letitia would spend as much time insulting the officers who were trying to help her and her children as she did performing the tests. I'm just gonna check your eyes, okay? If you can. I'm drunk. Like I've literally already admitted. So why do I have just, to go through this? All right, just pay this? attention to him, okay? Please help me. Let us just run our tests and then it'll be over, He's okay? Help me out too, okay? So just look at my finger. And I want you to follow your finger with your eyes okay. and your eyes only, okay? Don't move your head or your body, okay? okay? Take your time. Take your time. Yeah, you have my word. You would follow my finger here real quick. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Just follow with your eyes. Don't move your head. Let's look up. Get back. Can I have my kids back? Thank you. Can I have my kids back? After treating her with all the professionalism you would expect, they finally had enough and she was placed under arrest and her kids were taken into custody until child services arrived. Car is upside no, down. No, we can't have you smoke right now. Can I go to a quick trip and buy some more? You can't. Okay, well I am, so come No, ma'am, you gotta stay right. Some more cigarettes. Hey, hey. Am I being detained? Yes, you are. Okay, right. under what law? What do you mean? What law? We're detaining What's you. What's the law? We're detaining you because of a DUI. So okay. And I'm not, I'm not driving, leave. I'm walking. Right, but you can't leave. You, I can't. You've already been detained, so you're not leaving. Ew. 
Okay, well, so we're, we're gonna, gonna go get some cigarettes. Come on, Jackie. Nope, we're gonna stay Can here. I get some cigarettes out of my goddamn car? Cannot. A black and mild? Cannot. You can't do that for me. You can't. I cannot. You cannot. Come here. You cannot. Nope. Come here. Come here. Here. Right so let's just hang out until your sister gets here, okay? We can't have you get in the car, okay? I just want my cigarettes. But we can't. But we can't have you get in the can car. Can you get my cigarettes? I know you can get my <laughs> cigarettes. Hold on. I know you can get my cigarettes, or you could get my cigarettes. If you're not out the car, if you're not gonna cooperate with them, I'm gonna put you in cuffs and put you in the car. Yeah, I'm going to jail anyway. I'll do it right now. And let no, you I just want to smoke a cigarette. I can't. Mommy. I don't. I want a you to black come on. There's want a you, whole pack of cigarettes in my car. I want you to be able to sit with your kids until your sister gets here. But if we're not going to be cooperative and we're going to be angry, I'm going to cuff you and put you in the back of the so car. So what made you want to be a kids. cop? Let's sit down with your kids real quick. Come on, just relax. Let's sit, sit over here. Kids. Um, I'll deal with him before I deal with you. Because okay. he's That's So. You get the fuck out of my head. I want to take a cigarette. You have no right to assault with an attorney. I do have, I do have a right. Testing, but I don't have a right. Of the test, I don't have a right. You have the right. Give me the. You have no right. Because you know this shit is foul. Read along with them, okay? I have to read it to you. Oh, okay. Well, read it. You should know your. You should know to read my rights without a piece of paper. Nope, I'm not doing this. You're going to the back of the car. Stand up. Please don't do this. No. I'm sorry. I'm so mad. I just want to smoke a bunch of You're being a pain in the. I'm being a pain in the. But I'm just. We're gonna. I'm not playing this. Even when she was being booked at the station, she never stopped insulting the officers. She claimed she just wanted to know that her kids were all right, but they seemed like an afterthought after the crash. Hey. I'm like, where are my kids? Are like, what the f am I gonna do? Like, where do I need to get my kids? Are my just give me a sec. Let me talk real quick. Sorry, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Right, we're just gonna... Your kids are going with your sis. Okay. okay. And the officers are going to. Is she there the, to pick them up? They were. They were. Uh, we called about 15 minutes before time. They were in Mulvey. Okay. So the ladies that worked that business right there yeah. moved the kids to the inside of the business because it was windy and chilly. Okay. So those officers, the uh, they, the the rookie officer that was with me helping me out, he is with the kids inside the building waiting for your sister. Okay. I'm trying to say. I've been respectful. I tried. I know. Just like we tell our kids. You got kids. I got kids. kids. Treat someone the way you want to be treated, right? I tried. Okay. I tried. And I'm sorry that, that you felt like I was just disrespectful at some point, but... I've been doing this for six years. You, you're not going to hurt my feelings. I'm sorry. Okay. I yeah. apologize. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. I just want to make sure my kids are okay. Right? Your kids are fine. The EMS, fire... Regardless of how you feel, yeah, I'm drunk and I'm f***ing with the gold guard to kill them both. Yeah, I'm a piece of shit. No, we just... Now, but now I just want to make sure that my kids are... Somewhere. We just, you know, we did. We made a mistake today. It was a mistake. Big. It's Big not mistake. just a mistake. It's a moment. Changing the state. And we'll learn. And you won't do it again, correct? You promise me you won't do that again? No. Okay. Just take a deep breath. Calm down. Take a deep breath, Natisha. How would you feel? Someone I know. told you to calm down. Now you go. Did you, you shut it off your battery? Don't die. I don't know. I just fuck the calls to climb. No, just turn it off for us. 32 year old Letitia was charged with driving under the influence, motor vehicle overturn, and she was cited for multiple traffic citations. In our next case, a six year old boy exposes his mother's lies and helps put her in jail. Six year old son gives up. In Athens, Georgia, on January 26, 2022, an officer was dispatched to the scene of a hit-and-run accident after the alleged victim called it in. He claimed that he spoke to the female driver after the crash and everything seemed to be going as you'd expect. But once he mentioned involving the police, she got in her car and drove off. The officer got the complete story from the alleged victim and it seemed as though he was telling the truth. It was a very believable story and the fact that the offending car drove off gave it more credibility. What happened? You can blow the fire. What happened? All right, so I went to turn into turning lane up here to get over. I had my turn signal on, and this flies up beside me, 
and I was already over. So I didn't even see her coming. And the last time I looked over to my left, and she was there. And there was nothing I could do. Okay. And so she left. I told her, I was, she's like, you want to settle this now or what? And I was like, I'm calling the law because, I mean, I can claim it on my insurance. Right. So where where did your vehicle come in contact with her I vehicle? Hit, I guess she hit my tire because she got Black Street all on the back of her car. I guess it hit my tire. The yeah, front me. tire right here? Yeah. Okay, so just so I'm clear, so you're in the turning lane. You're in the turning lane coming here? Yeah, I was coming, coming in here. Yeah, I was coming in here. Okay. And she told me, she's like, we turned at the same, she's like, we turned, we was getting over at the same time. I said, there's no way we was getting over at the same time, because if it was, you'd have been behind me and you wouldn't hit me. Okay, so you're coming into the turn lane and then she comes into you yeah, and then like goes. I was, she was behind me and I went to get over and she was already over, so it kind of clipped the back end of her car, which I jerked it back real quick as soon as I seen her, but she was like right here as soon as I seen her. You're going to take a left to go that way? You were coming here to come to here? Okay, so you were coming in the turn lane to come here. Yeah, and she was too. Okay. All right, now now I'm picking up what you're putting up. Yeah. Uh, you got your driver's license on you? Yeah, and she, I told her that I was Go calling y'all, and uh, what she done was, she's like, well, I ain't, I ain't sticking around. I said, shit, I am, because, I mean, basically, that's a hit and run. Would it be a problem if I pulled over here and got gas? No, nah, just go ahead. Okay. It'll be a few. Okay. Yep. The suspect got unlucky and someone called the police after they saw her car pull into a parking lot. It was time for the officer to hear a different version of the story. And he got a lot more than that. She had no driver's license on her and provided a fake name. Her real identity came from an unexpected source, her six-year-old son who was sitting in the back seat. Got ID on well, I don't have it on me. Okay. You want to step back here for me? Were you just involved in a wreck? Be honest. It's okay. Yes, but he well, hit me. He hit you? Why yes. didn't you stop? Because, I mean, I really didn't know, like, if it was Where'd... my fault or his fault. Okay. Well, you should stop and figure that out. Where'd you get hit at? On this side. He, when I was getting okay. over, he was getting over. But see, I was getting over before. Which way y'all coming from? We was in the turning Downtown? lane. We was in the turning lane going to the marathon. Okay. I was getting over, he was getting over. But see, I was getting over before him. So it's like, I was kind of still kind of behind him, but I was merging over to right. get in the turn line. He was merging over. So he side scraped me. Okay, all right. Um, you say you don't have your ID on? I don't. Okay, what's your name? Chick and good day to birth for you. Um, I can't even think right now, because this is my neighbor car, and I just, that's why I really pulled out, because I don't want to get in trouble. 1980. 80. Uh, good phone number for you? Yes. Where do you stay at? I stay, well, right now I'm just like living with my mom. Where at? But um, do I have to give her address? Yeah, so if it's involved in a wreck, we have to have your address to put in the report. So. Oh my God. All right, so what's your address? going to get back to my neighbor. I got you. Well. Not only did she not remember her own name, she told the officers that she didn't know how to contact her neighbor, the one who let her borrow his car. Do you think they believed her? Does your do you have a phone number for your neighbor? Because you said it's your neighbor's car. So do you have the phone number for him? It may be in my phone. I don't know how far back it goes. I don't know if my son got it in his phone. He may have it in his phone. I don't know, but I know it's a 202 number. I just can't remember the rest. But I can try to call my stepdad and he can maybe go next door and talk to him. And tell him to come get my son right here. Well, that's, that's going to be up to Officer Trotter. So what's she got going on? She got her kid in the car. The yep. car belongs to the neighbor. I asked her if she had the phone number. She does not know off the top of her head. She might have it in the phone. She can call her stepdad to walk over. She finally told the officers some truth when she admitted that if she had told the officers her real name, she would have been placed under arrest because she's wanted on a warrant. If I would have gave you my name, I wouldn't have been on my way. But how I was gonna be on my way. You know what your warrant's for? It's Newton County. For, it's a uh, probation warrant. For shoplifting out of Covington. So, I mean, That's what saying, chances though. are they're probably not going to get you. Could you contact uh -huh. the probably, on the, be honest, they probably wouldn't come get you. It's, it's a ways away from one and two. It's COVID. Last right? time I was locked up in Clark County, Chris County, they was going to come. Every county is different. Every county. But see, depends. this is a probation warrant. Like, my probation is supposed to end in May. It just depends. I cannot afford to be locked up that long with my baby being in school. 
Like, please, I wish y'all would let me go. We're, we're past that, okay? You've made your bed, you gotta lay in it, okay? The woman's stepfather came to pick up her son and wasn't happy about the situation she was put in, especially considering she was driving the car. You're okay. You're okay, boy. You're okay, buddy. Hey, little man, you're okay. Hey, you're all right. Is this your car, sir? Yeah. Okay, all right. Hey, you're good to take it. Huh? Um, are you aware of what's going on? They let you know? No, I'm not. So basically, um, she was involved in, a, in an accident. She took off. Um, parked here, someone saw her, and we came out, and it, it's on the the right side here. But she's she is going to be held at fault for it. Um, so right that's there. where we're at. Yeah, hit and run. She hit she hit somebody and just kept going. Uh, to my understanding, she pulled over. They went into the parking lot. They talked for a few minutes, and then she just left without giving any info or anything. So it's going to be a hit and run. Um, Looks like she look. If it was me, I haven't seen the other car. Kind of looks like she changed lanes improperly, and looks like caught the the well, tire of the other bark, car. I let a bark. Pick the kid up. And yeah. Of course they come here and get Well, she. Uh, I wouldn't let her do that anymore because she doesn't have a license. So she doesn't have a license, and she shouldn't be driving regardless. So she doesn't have a. Nope. So I would not let her God, be driving this not, anymore. Jesus Christ. She was charged with hit and run, driving with a suspended license, not having child restraints in the car, and giving a false name to law enforcement officers. Up next, a mother doesn't approve of her son's new girlfriend, and she lets her know about it with her fists. Attacks girlfriend. On May 5th, 2022, officers in Athens, Georgia were dispatched to a residence to deal with a domestic disturbance in progress. The caller stated that her boyfriend's mother dragged her to the ground by her hair and challenged her to a fight. She told the same story to the officers when they arrived. The suspect, on the other hand, gave conflicting reports about what happened, causing the officers to question whether anything she said was the truth. Which version of her story do you think is true? When her two sons had around the kitchen. Because you won't and you have it. Everything centered around you always has been. And that's the victim she attacked. So when your dad what happened? I was trying to talk to her because she was like talking to my boyfriend stuff about me. So I was trying to say like, hey, if you have a problem, you can talk to me about it. And she started calling me like, you can get out of my house. Here, give me one second. Do you know who paid for the insurance? It was me. What happened? Well, when I came home from a friend's house, okay. there was a um sit talk here, to the victim. She's in there. And Who? he okay? was there. Huh? Is she okay? Who's it's my girlfriend. Your girlfriend, okay. Who are you to him? My mother. It's your mother. Yeah. Okay. What happened? Um, when I came home, because okay. I'd been out with one of my friends, she was sitting there and he was at the door. And I just wanted to make my way to the room because we're going through a divorce. Who? Me and my husband. Which one is your husband? Uh. Red, red hair. Red hair? Okay. That's your dad? Yeah. Okay. So, they kept talking shit, talking talking and. Who kept talking shit? Uh, she did. And he kept backing her up. She didn't talk. My phone's right behind you. It's all recorded on there. Okay, we're going to see that recording. Is it like a video recording? Audio. Audio? That's fine. We'll see that recording. So. Go ahead. The woman seems to know how the process works. She called a friend to bail her out of jail before the officers told her she was being placed under arrest. For my birthday, you know what I got? Jambalaya. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're not going to talk about your birthday. Hey. I'm going to need you to come get me out of jail. Yeah. Ma'am, go ahead and hang up the phone because we haven't made I haven't I haven't made a decision I'm, yet. So go ahead and hang up the I'm phone. I'm going to jail. Ma'am, go ahead and hang up Bye. the phone, please. Thank you. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, ma'am. Okay, what's your name? Okay. My name is Officer Vidella with the Athens Clark County Police Department. Okay. Let's restart. All right. Let's restart to where when it all happened. What happened? Tell me what happened. Without any. What without happened? Any, so I came in the door. 
You came in which door? That door. The side door? Yeah. Okay. And I was confronted by my son right there and okay. his girlfriend sitting on the camera. His girlfriend? Yeah. Not his girlfriend. She's your girlfriend. Cool. Okay. One of her sons, the boyfriend's brother, told the officer that while he helped break up the fight, he didn't see or hear how it started. His girlfriend told the officer that she didn't want to press charges, but he warned her of the issues with that. That's my boyfriend that's in there. That's my other son. He's probably witnessed some of it. You didn't see anything? Well, I went in there and my brother, they were on the ground with each other. She was pulling her hair as I went in there to help pull them apart. Um, he was in the middle of trying to push them apart while she had somewhere on her hair pulling her hair. Mm -hmm. And I went in and pulled them completely apart so that they were no longer in contact with each other. Okay. You guys seem to press charges. Ma'am, you want to press charges? I don't know. Well, we don't want to leave and have this happen again. Do you live here? No, I come here every Sunday to come visit. Okay. Did she hit your brother or your boyfriend or anything? I don't know because I was on the ground and I just know that he was, like I was face down on the ground trying to get mm -hmm. my hands off of my Okay. Are you sure you don't want to press charges? I do. You do want to press charges? Okay. The officers showed incredible patience with a drunk woman. Trying to get her to answer standard questions like where she lives was a struggle. How long have you lived here? Well, how, how long have you, years? how long do you currently live here? About 15 years. No, no. We've been married do, for 24. Do you currently live at this home? Yes. Yeah. And that just proves right there it was staged. Because he was there and she was here. Here, give me one second. This officer is going to stay with you. Keep telling him your story. I'll be right back in, okay? Eventually, their patience ran out and she was placed under arrest. The family was made aware of the risks of bonding her out and the dangers of the victim remaining in the house after she gets out. Go ahead, stand up for me, okay? You just leave your stuff down there. Okay, go ahead, put your hands behind your back, all right? You are under arrest, okay? For battery. Probably gonna need to. Okay. Your shoulders more are stiff. You can't you're not really flexible. Well, I'm try to so much weight. Try to give him. I'm trying to. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and double lock these, okay? And we're gonna take you out to the car, right? Can you bring my phone and wallet? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Sure can. Sure can. Okay. Ow. Shine. Sorry. Ow. Stop. Just stop moving, okay? That ow. My right. Oh, Come God. this way. Bend your hand. There we go. Oh, there we go. Phone wallet, right? Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead and step outside. Can you get my keys to my car? Sure. Thank you. 504 Central 1095. She was charged with battery. Our next case has a plot twist. The suspect called to get her victim in trouble, but it didn't go as planned. Jill Marshall. On October 16, 2021, law enforcement officers in Bedford, Ohio were dispatched to a home after a woman placed a 911 call claiming she had an issue with her son and needed help. When they arrived at the scene, things weren't exactly as she described them to be. They got the son's story first, and it wasn't matching up with his mother's report over the phone. Apparently, mom has a drinking problem and decided to create random drama. The police had better things to do when questioned the woman about her son's claim. This is where you live? Yeah. How long have you been living here for? Uh, so last night, I think. Give me a date. It's my mother. No, can you give me like a date of like oh, when uh, when I, you... I, I, sorry. Like when did he move in here? I'm, I I know you guys have been... This is like it's been a non-stop issue, but well, I don't, I've never personally dealt with it. Uh-huh. I said I've never personally dealt with it, so well, I'm just asking when you actually like moved uh, in. Yeah, I'm probably back home. Back here at least four five nights. So then, did she, what do you mean she won't let you in because the door's open? She's got the chain on the door. Huh? There's a chain on the door. There's a chain on the door? Yeah. Really? 
Uh, yeah, I, see that. I see that. Yeah. Okay. She came home, she had a drink, and decided she was going to throw me out. So you were you already here? Yeah. So she asked you to leave, and you left, and you I thought I'd come back. I let her cool off, I'd come back. And then she called the cops on me. Did anything happen between then? No, or that's just no, all that happened? no, no. I, did, I, I left, like they said, con- there ain't nowhere for me to go. I got you. I'm not accusing you. No, I'm just no, asking I, for I, the I'm, you know, I'm situation. Just, she she just gets a drink and gets it in. She starts running her mouth. She's not going to answer the door for anything. She's not talking. All right. The woman, identified as Jill Marshall, finally opened the door after talking to her for less than 20 seconds. It was clear who the real problem was, and it wasn't her son. Break you called us? Break my door down. Well, you finally opened it, but you called us? I'm trying to sleep. You called us, didn't you? Yes, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> so what do you want done, I guess? I out. He lives here. I don't give a shit. I'm scared of him. Why are you scared of him? Hey, talk to her inside. Okay. Can I step in? All right, I think that's a fight. I don't know where you were trained, but uh, domestic battery is a big well, c- issue. Come on in. I'm right here. Close the door then. I'm right here. Do you want us to do something or not? Uh, check him. Do something. He has residency here, okay? I don't give a shit. He's well, legally, he's there's nothing that can be done. All right. It, it can, it can you, who push did, me around. That's all right. Who did you tell that to the first time? Did you call back and report yes, the battery? Yes, I did. And you spoke with... A shell shock. Shell heart. Did, have you... Spoke with him again since? No. Why don't you give him a call and speak with him? No. I don't need to. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to work. Okay, you're not working right now. I work third shift. Okay. Well, he has residency here. And I here. can't sleep with all this bullshit going on. Well, he has residency here. If you want him gone, you can go to the court and evict him. Okay? That's the only way to get rid of him legally. All right, then... Jill was charged with interfering with reporting a crime, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. We'll head out to the highway for our next case, and you'll meet another woman who put her kids' lives at risk when she got behind the wheel of a car. Brittany Clemis Jones in Brattonall, Ohio on March 7, 2024, patrol officers spotted a blue Honda Civic traveling erratically on the highway. When they attempted to conduct a routine traffic stop, the driver, 29-year-old Brittany Clemis Jones had no intention of cooperating. Even though she was driving drunk with her kids in the car, she refused to put their safety first and decided to make the situation even more dangerous for everyone involved. Let's see how it worked out for her. Brittany struggled to keep her car in any particular lane, so the officer assumed she must be impaired. When he performed the traffic stop, his assumption would be confirmed. Making matters much worse, was the fact that she had two young children in the car. How are you doing? Okay. How much, how much you have to drink tonight? How much have you had to drink tonight? Okay, and I could smell the alcohol coming from the car and you have a kid in the, two kids in the back seat. Okay, how much have you had to drink tonight? A couple of drinks, okay. Okay. 35, can you come to my location? Where, do you have a valid license on you? Okay, can I have it? You almost hit three cars. Okay, well that's what the dash cam will show. No, no, the dash camera will say it. It'll show it. Or or the dash camera will just show it. Is there a gun in the car or no? Okay. I have a gun license. I saw that, that's why I asked. Right, I have a gun license. Okay. And I have my two children that I'm trying to get home. So, whatever you want to do, okay. Okay. Why don't you step out of the car for me? Okay. 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 Ok
Okay, that's fine. She wasn't cooperating with the officer, so he turned his attention toward the children. He told them they could call their grandma. Unfortunately, her attitude didn't change and she decided to assault the officer, causing EMS to come to the scene and causing a terrible scene for her children to witness. And I got, and I got both of them? No, mine. Both of mine, mine. These officers are harassing me. I didn't do anything wrong. Hey. I didn't refuse anything. You guys, you guys have a crazy thing for you could call your grandma. It's okay. You could call me. You my mom. But here's the thing, honey. She was drinking and driving, and she almost hit a lot of cars. Okay. She's gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay. What's that? Get out, so we can have this conversation. Yes, mom. I am literally seeing her. Get off my wrist, mom. No. This lady is literally grabbing my wrist. Yeah, and this lady just took my keys without no proposition, no correct proposition. Ma, Ma, look, me got me up, and I swear to God, Ma. Come on, man, I'm gonna show you, Ma. I'm gonna no, Ma, I'm gonna show no, you no, what they. No, let her go, honey. Ma, Ma, you can't do that. Brittany was charged with driving under the influence, two counts of endangering children, and receiving stolen property. Amy Stewart, on March 12, 2022, an officer on patrol conducted a traffic stop on a white truck after he noticed it was driving with its hazard lights on. Then he noticed the driver was swerving all over the road before they jumped a curb, sending the truck airborne. When he approached the vehicle, he was shocked with what he saw inside. A man sleeping on the floor, a tiny dog, and a three-year-old child. The driver was identified as Amy Stewart, and she claimed she was just tired, just like her friend who was passed out in the back next to her daughter. She had no good answers for any of the questions and quickly broke into tears. Go ahead, stay in the car, please. Put down your window. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Hey, how are you? What in the world is going on? I'm trying to come back to his fiance. Okay. You have a little kid in the car? I do. I, I want to go home. What is happening? I want to why, go home. Why do you have a... What is he doing? Well, he's tired. Okay. You realize you just hit two medians and you just I went completely up want. a curb? I'm How, is this your daughter in the car? Yes. And who is he to you? Boyfriend or father? No, my friend. Yeah. Okay. There's no relation. Is it okay if I open up the back door and talk to him? Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. I just had too much to drink. Okay. Do you need medical attention? No, sir. Is there a reason why you're in the back seat? Or are you just sleeping? Sleeping. Have you been in the back seat the whole time? Where are y'all coming from? Uh, dinner. Huh? Dinner. Y'all are coming from dinner? When did the kid come into the car? Where she had dinner with you? Same time. Okay. What was your reason for hitting the median? I don't know. Okay. I'm trying to figure out me and my fucking doctor like. Yes. I don't even know Step where she's at. She's trying to figure out where she's supposed to bring me. Oh, oh, where she's supposed to bring my fiance. I understand, but you've got a little kid in the car. If you want to drive like an idiot, then that's on you. But if you hit two medians like that. Honestly, if she's driving circles because of me, I'm No, no. This is your friend's kid? No, my, my Where's the parents baby. to this baby? I'm her mother. Your mama. Okay. Yes. Amy denied the request to perform the field sobriety test until the officers explained to her what would happen if she didn't. All the tests would do is confirm that she's impaired. Are you drinking? No. I believe that you may be impaired. So would you be willing to complete some field sobriety tests? No. You don't, to, you don't have to complete them, but if you don't complete them, 
my assessment of if you were intoxicated will be off of what I've observed so far. No? You understand refusing to do the field sobriety exercise you're going to be placed under arrest for DUI. You understand that, right? I can't drive. I need to go home. I need her to go home. So you can't I drive a motor vehicle safely home. based off what's being observed? I am dealing with two people in my back seat. All right, all it, it's, it's, it's simple. Are you going to do the exercises or not? Yes or no? Fine. Yes or no? Yes. Step out of the vehicle, please. It is focused. No, he's just really driving, so he just said I'm going to go home. It is, though. So come over here. Stand yeah. on the line. What's your name? Wait, I don't like him talking to my daughter. Without he's talking me. to okay, the so grown man like, in the back seat. Seriously. So look. But my daughter is He's talking to the male. It's Can in the back seat. Put a cap on her. Can you back up to the My edge of line? My daughter is in the back seat. Can you back up to the edge of the line, please? No, I can't. My Are you gonna daughter complete the is in the back seat. You have to. You have to focus. We can't leave your daughter alone. The guy's sleeping, right? You're passed out. I'm not. So passed you want your daughter? I'm talking to you. I'm talking about the guy in the back seat. He's sleeping or passed out, correct? Amy did everything wrong and was placed under arrest. I don't understand. I feel Ready. Like this is a trick I'm going right to now. demonstrate some field sobriety exercises. Do you understand that statement? No. I cannot understand that with my daughter trying in the car. Ma'am, you do realize we're trying to avoid making your daughter any more upset by placing you under arrest. No, 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 no. He asked you more than once. Well, I didn't realize that Leave was a That's what he was saying. I didn't realize that was a thing. You guys, please. No. No, you should be ashamed of yourself as a parent for operating a vehicle in these conditions, driving the way that you just I'm were with your two-year-old or three-year-old daughter in the back. Don't say you weren't driving. driving. What, what do you mean? Why do you think we're here right now? I'm driving me out of home. Yeah, okay, and I'm glad that you made it this far without killing anybody in this vehicle. You should be ashamed of yourself as a parent to operate a vehicle like that. It's not okay. She was charged with driving under the influence, 